Okay, graphs and ramps. So what kind of ramp would you need to make the to make the motion seen in a position time or velocity time graph? That's what you're gonna try and figure out today. So uh, you're gonna draw the target position time graph and, uh, and then you're gonna adjust the ramp and launch speed to make the ball's motion match that ramp. So let's check it out. Constant speed. So we get to see this, this is our target. We want to make the ball travel like this. All right, so here's our instructions, adjust the ramp and the initial speed to match the, the graph, okay. Looks like this is going pretty slow and it has a constant velocity. So uh, this ramp ignores friction. If I want something to have a constant velocity, well, I could try this just as it is, hit start, and let's see what it does. It starts off pretty slow and then it, it accelerates, right? We see that curve. And I miss the mark most of the time. So that's not quite it. So I can reset it. And well, I needed to be going faster at the beginning, right? See that? Too slow, All right? So let's change the launch speed and make it a little faster. And let's hit start and see what we get. Okay, this time I'm going faster at the beginning and I hit the mark, but I'm still accelerating. And this shows constant velocity. So I can't, I can't have this hill here, right? This is going to make my ball accelerate. See how the, the distances are increasing there? It means it's going faster. That's our dot model. All right, so instead of this, I need to reset. And I am going to make this be flat. Oops. Just clicking and dragging down. That's how you move the ramp. And click, drag. There we go. All right, so now I'm gonna try this low launch speed and see if I get it to follow that. Hmm, close, right? What do I need to do differently to get it to match? This is close, but not quite it. Slower or faster? Let's try one more time. Faster, right? So let's maybe go a little faster and that would give us a steeper slope, all right? Ta-da, look at that. Boom, okay, I earned a star. That means I got it right. And so now I'll go back. I got a star there, and now I wanna make one that speeds up. Ah, I feel like we've seen this before, all right? So I can try just hitting start, see how close we get. Hmm, what I need to do differently. Now the, the slope is too shallow. That means I'm going too slow. So you just have to launch it faster, right? So I'll try that and then maybe try adjusting the ramp. That's the deal with all of these. So what I'd like you to do is, I want you to get a star for each of these distance time graph ones. All right, there are seven in total. Okay, try them out. Good luck. If you don't finish, it's homework for next class.